Dear students, now we are going to discuss optical ethernet in detail. As we all know that ethernet is the local area network protocol. Optical ethernet is the combination of ethernet and optics. That is the physical layer of LAN protocol for sending data over fiber optic cable. It is the combination of ethernet and optics. Okay. It is the fourth generation of ethernet. Here ITUT and IEEE both have defined the physical layer for optical ethernet. There are three data rates used for this optical ethernet. 10 megabits per second. This is the lowest data rate for this optical ethernet. 100 megabits per second. That is the fast ethernet. 1000 megabits per second. That is gigabit ethernet. Okay. So here a standard optical ethernet protocol consists of the following important elements. The frame format, media access control that is MAC protocol, signaling, physical medium. So these four are very important elements for any ethernet protocol. Ethernet frame format is given here. Preamble that is the 7 byte data which indicates the receiving nodes that a frame is being transmitted. Okay. So the next one is 1 byte ASCFD. Start of frame delimiter. Destination address and source address. These two are 6 byte addresses which represent the destination and source of the networking node. Length. It represents the length of the data or type of data. Next one is data. It is the actual information to be transmitted in the network. Okay. The last one is frame check sequence. Okay. It is the error checking sequence. Next MAC protocol. That is media access control protocol. Provides a set of rules to access the shared channel among the multiple networking nodes by the interface. So it has to provide set of rules to access the channel. Okay. Next signaling is either to transmit or to receive the data by each network node. And the last one is physical media. It is the optical fiber cable in this optical ethernet. Okay. So next optical ethernet connection. So there are different types of connections available. First one is point to point connection. Next one is point to multi point connection. So in this point to point connection, the service provider is going to provide the service to the user through this ODN that is optical distribution node. This node provides point to point service from service provider to user location. Service network interface that is SNI is used to connect the optical line termination with this service provider. Here this ODN is dedicated for this user location. Okay, ONT is nothing but optical network termination. User network interface is connecting this ONT with the user location. This is point to point link. So next one is point to multi point ethernet that is also called as EPON. So in this one a single ODN that is optical distribution node is used to connect multiple ONUs that is optical network user interfaces. So single service provider can connect multiple users. Okay. In point to multi point connection bandwidth assignment can be done in two ways. Static assignment, dynamic assignment. In static assignment, bandwidth can be divided into upstream and downstream for each user by default. But in dynamic assignment, based on the request from each ONU, that is optical network user, the OLT, that is optical line termination, sets the upstream bandwidth. So this is the efficient method, okay? So the next one is recent developments in optical ethernet. So first one is optical ethernet switches GBIC that is gigabit interface converter module. So it is mainly used to connect both fiber channel and ethernet cable. Okay. The next one is very important one that is what 10 GB ethernet with optical only concept. 
So its standard is IEEE 802.3 AE 2000 to standard. So here transmitting frames at a rate of 10 gigabits per second. There are different types of 10 GBE with optical networks available. Next advantages of optical ethernet. It provides highly secured reliable super fast speed networking connection. It provides high access bandwidth up to 10 gigabits per second. Here end to end LAN performance is excellent. Noise and interference immunity is very high. It is less complexity connection. So next disadvantages of optical ethernet. It is expensive to install. It requires high input power. Here maintenance is difficult because it requires skilled labor. Correct to maintain the service. Finally the applications of optical ethernet. Optical Ethernet is a backbone of enterprise customers and service providers. It is widely used in telecommunication organizations. It is mainly used for connecting internet servers and switches inside the equipment within data centers and between metropolitan data centers. So it is widely used in metropolitan area networks also. Okay.